الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم encouraged us to make our homes a place of light and guidance so be weary of filling your homes with televisions and just computers and things that distract you from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just watching television shows and things like this but try to use those tools as a means to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make sure your house is not a dwelling place of the jinn and the shaitan make sure you seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before you come into your house by saying a'udhu bi kalimatillahi tammat min sharri ma khalaq asking and seeking refuge in Allah from the evil therein from which He created subhanahu wa ta'ala seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before entering your home and another important way to fend off from the shaitan in your homes is by making a lot of sajood a lot of salat in, in there and reading Baqarah as well and read in the Quran in your homes. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal La taj'alu biyutukum muqabira inna shaitan yanfiru min al-bayti al-ladhi taqra'u fihi surat al-Baqarah The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said In the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In Sahih Muslim He said do not make your homes Like graves Or as graves Because verily the shaitan flees from the house In which Surah Al-Baqarah is read so that is an encouragement to read the Quran in general in your homes, but especially Surah Al-Baqarah, to have the shaitan flee from your home. You want the shaitan to flee from your life in every which way that you're able to. And that is one of the ways in which to do so. So by reading Surah Al-Baqarah, and that doesn't mean just playing a tape of Baqarah in your home, but that means actually physically striving to read it. If it's difficult for you to read it in Arabic, but at least that you try to read as much as you can, then bi'idhnillah Allah will accept that. So try to read often as much as possible to protect your home from the shaitan and the shayateen from the from mankind and jinn. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.